I go by the name of Jermaine Dupree, and I am the mayor of the ATL. I make big moves, do big things, and take small groups and turn them into big names. Ever since Bow Wow, I've been looking for my next breakout star. The boss is home. So I picked five of the most talented kids out there. I brought them to Atlanta. Whichever one of these artists rise to the top, I'm going to sign them on my label, So So Deaf, and make them a real star. Each week, I'm going to rank these kids on the charts. I call it the hit list. We're three weeks in, and I'm just beginning to see who these kids are and who their parents are. Last week, the kids were in the booth for the first time. Mulatto, what's up? What's up, JD? Some impressed me. I be writing my own lyrics like I'm Brian Michael Cox. Hey, Southside. But Super Peach and Lil Poopy, they struggled to write an original rap. I came down to Atlanta, to Atlanta spot. Hold on, hold on. This the rap you said before. No, 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 no. Let's see who surprises me this week on the rap game. Everyone is gunning for the number one spot right now, especially that the number one has Miss Mulatto's name by it. Let's get this number one spot. Miss Mulatto. Miss Mulatto just busted everybody ass in the room. Everything's at stake. I've been doing this since I was like 10, 11 years old. I've never got to do like sports in school or like going out with your friends. It's straight business work 24 seven. But if you know it's gonna pay off, then it's, it's all worth it. Like, hi, yeah. Woo! Woo! Pain, huh? You see that? From number three to number five, that's not good. JD thinks I wasn't really into writing a song about everything we saw on a trolley ride. Boo, you finish your rap? You sure you want to be here? Yeah. Right, one, yeah. two, three. This competition means a lot to me. I might be laid back, but I grew up in a very tough neighborhood. I'm trying to make it to the top so I can move all my family out of bad neighborhood. Hey, you gotta switch it up. Hey! I gotta step it up. Gotta, like, be more hype and watch. I'm gonna be number one again. So we are the producers of this beat. Beat by Poopy. Yo. Yo. Compadre. What's going on, broski? I've known Poopy his whole life. I'm his godfather, so dad knows that he can rely on me. So how's everything, though? Like, I don't know what you guys got going on. Uh, man, I wish I was there, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, I, I, I wish he was here, too, for some parts. I'm doing my best to make sure that Poopy does his best. Yeah, I know y'all killing him, bro. Nah, we killing him. Of course. I'm feeling a lot of pressure from the dad, so I kind of ignored a lot of conversations because I didn't feel comfortable saying that he was number five. I could have picked anybody else, and you're there for a reason. I appreciate it, man. This is my first time being a manager. I'm keeping Poopy motivated by staying on him constantly. Because a lot of people are depending on us. They're assuming we're going to come back victorious, and that's what we have to give them. I'm going to get back to you. All right, man. You guys have a good day. Bye, right, man. Thank you. Uh, Yo. Oh. Yo, what's up? Look come who on. it is. Yo, yo. <laughs> Last week. The kids got in the booth and showed me what they got. But the rap game is more than just spitting rhymes. To be a star, you got to know your brand. And they have to be able to listen to my expertise and the proper management to steer them in the right direction. All right, so how y'all feel about last week? We ready for a new hit list. OK, all right, that's what's <laughs> up. So this week's hit list challenge is about style and swag. They ain't going to have nothing to do with y'all lyrics. They ain't going to have nothing to do with y'all flows and all of that stuff. It's going to be all about styles. Like, if you know anything about me, when I made Criss Cross and we put the clothes on backwards, that became a lifestyle. N.W.A. made Dickies look right, right? So all I'm saying is, when you think about style and you in hip hop, you got an ability to make it cool. You got a cape on? Oh, yeah, I'm so peach. See, like, honestly, you're kind of, like, animated. To me, you're like left eye. So with that animated style, you should probably rock the cape all the time. I don't know if she really needs a cape to define that she's super, but I don't know. She might fly away. <laughs> so, Poopy, one word, describe your style. My style is swagalicious. 
this swag delicious? Of course. Everybody on this side, what y'all think about poopy style? I think he need to add some flavor. Anybody can put that on, but he's cute within himself, so he can get away with it. To separate yourself from every kid that's in Boston, what else you gonna do that's gonna change it? You gotta start figuring it out. My style is dope. This week, I ain't gonna let anybody else stand in my way. I do think I have what it takes to really be an artist. All right, Lyric. So, what you think your style is? Um, country. I know you know. Work hard, not shine. I know you know. I know you know. Yeah, Mom, what you think? I think it's got a nice country flair to it. That's where we're from. We represent in Houston. Miss Mulatto. My style is the crazy curly hair. Run up on you, boy, you know how we do. This is like that, so we start the whole crew. She's wild, she's outside of the box. It's working for her. So your style is wow, basically. Yeah. I don't think Miss Mulatto needs any help on her style or swag. I think she's fresh every day. Nico. My style is West. I'm coming for the payroll. On your head like a halo. But who the last rapper came from where you from? There's no rapper. No from rapper, San right? Diego. So you got the opportunity to be the first. You gotta take what you like about the West Coast style and mix it with something else and come up with a little Nico style. I got you. If not, then you ain't really paying no attention to this part of what we know. And you might be number five. Never that. This is the second opportunity for Lil Nico to be signed to a major label. And I've put everything on the line for Lil Nico and I to get this experience. So we're not here to play games. Now that I've seen your style and swag, I think you guys need some serious help. But I already knew that. So what I did was I had my stylist fly out here from L.A. She's going to meet y'all tomorrow, and she's going to take y'all on a shopping spree. Woo! All right. <laughs> JD's personal stylist? Oh, my God. Is this heaven? JD's flying and his stylist in? This is huge. The swag's important to the brand just as much as the sound. My stylist is going to help y'all pick out an outfit that fits your brand. And later, you'll be using that outfit in a photo shoot. Can't wait for that. We have no idea what it's going to be like, who's going to be there, what direction we're going. So we're just ready to take some pictures. Each manager have a conversation with their artist tonight, let them know how serious this is. And when we have this conversation again, we're going to know what you're supposed to look like, and we're going to know what country look like. And Poopy, we're going to know where you from, right? Exactly. All right, that's what's up. I yeah, pray that y'all do the right thing. I'm going to see y'all later. All right, thank you. All right. To make a hit record, your clothes, your attitude, your swagger is almost as important as your talent. I want to push these kids to see who they really are, not who their parents are. And I want to see if they're willing to take my direction to create a brand that's going to sell. So what about tomorrow? What do you think about, you know, meeting a stylist? Stylist is going to be bomb. She can get JD's black card. Oh, yeah. And we're off to the mall. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. <laughs> oh, what'd you think about Super Peach? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's very colorful, especially with the the cape. When it comes to style and swag, Super Peach, I don't really feel like the cape at this point, like with the kids in society right now, I don't think it's really going to sell her. Nico's image used to be different now that he's a teen and we're rebranding him. Um, his style is just maturing and it's changed. What worked for him at 10 is not going to work at 16, you know? Yeah, yeah. Jermaine was on the money. I got to pull it together and create his look. So we'll see, I guess. It is what it is. Another day, another dollar. True that. Cheers. I didn't agree with all the things that JD said, though, because I feel like it does work for Poopy, yeah. who he is. Yeah, we can change him a little bit, but how much? As far as advice from JD, actually, anything that he can add to the flavor, I'm down. You need to figure out what your style is going to be and become that. Poopy has his own thing. So what are you going to tell him to do? Rock with the I changes? I can't tell him to do nothing. I've tried for years when it comes to Poopy's wardrobe. Poopy wants to make it to the top. You know, Poopy's lyrics is on point. His looks got to be on point, too. What a style is that? <laughs> I'm so excited. I live, breathe, eat shopping. So I know I'm going to kill it. Oh, snap. Oh, man. Y'all thought we was going to Versace. We going to Goodwill, yo. Goodwill? You got to be kidding me. It was like I was flying and somebody shot my plane down. Hey, Poopy, you ready to shop? Yeah. At Goodwill? No. <laughs> <laughs>
She's worked with some of your favorite artists, Snoop Dogg, <laughs> Bow Wow, Lauren Hill. <laughs> the list goes on and on. I picked my stylist, April, to lead this challenge because she styles some of the best of the best. She knows exactly when an artist is on point with their brand, and she also knows the importance of an artist collaborating with their team. It'll be the same for these kids, so let's see who can impress me. You're probably wondering, like, well, what are we doing? <laughs> um, you know, just starting out, sometimes there's a budget. Even one of the first people that I started working with was Lauren Hill. We went to lots of thrift stores for her. So we want to see what you can do with a limited budget. It's really important for up-and-coming artists to know their brand and to realize that sometimes they're going to be working within a budget. I want them to convince me that I want to buy their music. So I've got some cash for you. Uh, we got 30 bucks oh. for each of you. What? Oh. That's for you. What? What are we supposed to do with $30? JD, he's a billion dollar person. There you go. Could at least give us like $80. You ready? You got 30 minutes, $30, 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready for the stakes, because we're not playing. We going in like sharks. <laughs> See, to be my artist, I believe that you should know your brand well enough to shop in any situation. Think about it right now. What are you picturing? Even if you only got $30 at Goodwill. <laughs> oh. mm. Yes, that's nice. I want something that's outside the box. That's my culture. Like, it's from the islands. Yes. Let's get some pants and cut them up. We can always cut pants up. Hey, how's it going over here? Okay, so it's Super Peach, right? Yeah. So Super Peach and her mommy were grabbing all kinds of stuff and nothing seemed to match. And then I hear sometimes you wear a cape. <laughs> oh, oh, she just ignored me. Um, looking at those clothes in your little basket, you might want to listen to my advice. We got to find out where your size is at. My style is different. I don't care about learning from someone else, so I got it. I got it over here, Peachy. <laughs> now, these kids won't see how good April is right away, but what they will see is that I put her in charge. If they're not listening to her, they're not listening to me. <laughs> Down with my peeps? No? This challenge has me pretty hands-on. Lil Nico has been in the middle of the hit list, and mediocrity is not in our vocabulary. It's time to climb that chart, and once we get to the top, we're not coming back down. All right, if we get a red shirt. Oh, Daddy, look. I'm like looking for something, you know, futuristic, fashion forward. I think, honestly, some black and white pants. I got my game on, because if I'm at number one continuously, that's going to impress JD. Armani Exchange. It's too big. I like designer shirts, pants. Shoes. We can't find nothing in the store that I would want. I'm getting a little nervous. After this last week, I'm really focused because I want to be here. I want to win. All right, close the door. Yeah. Yo, these is dope. Five minutes. Come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. Try them on. Hammer pants? Oh, they're already in line. Oh, man. Yes. How we doing? We're doing. Trying to shop with one of these kids is crazy. I think that Mulatto killed it. Teamwork. Like the dream work. My money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Look at the outfit, picture it. All right. These jeans, this, with your glasses and this. All right, so I'm good then. I think we should use that 1145. No. OK. Yeah. Sure. OK. Well, you didn't break the budget, that's for sure. I can't give Little Poopy any advice. What's been stressing me a lot this week is being number five. And if Poopy's dad found out about it, I wouldn't hear the end of it. You don't have a three bucks left. I think you're done. Three? I want the jacket, though. What you gonna take out? Um, can I get military discount, African-American discount? It is extremely difficult not to go over a minimal budget. Long eyelashes. Yeah, long eyelashes <laughs> count. Single mom discount. Divorce from a weird dude discount. A discount for the discount. 32.68. Oh, I thought it was 29. 
that was before this one, dude. Oh, man. I don't understand. They had two different prices. But whatever works for us to be the winner, I'm willing to do that. Three, two, So did you see that? There's Mama Peach being sneaky. It looks like she might be pulling out some extra cash on top of the 30. She can't do that. <laughs> Mama Peach is gangster Mama Peach. She knows she wasn't supposed to exceed the budget, but she did it anyway. Thank you. So I have to keep my eye on her, my good eye. All right, guys. You guys got to get back on the bus, go home, piece yes. some things together, because you got to come yes. camera ready to the photo shoot. All right, All right you guys. Bye. Great job. Some of us think that rules don't apply. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Some people get to do things that other people can't do, and it's starting to get a little annoying. It should be an even playing ground, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm with you on that. So who gets blamed? Definitely blame the manager or the parent. I feel like the only two real managers are me and Nikki. I definitely don't respect Super Peach's mom as a manager. You know what I mean? I don't feel like she's done her job. Super Peach is not getting the right artist development, the right training, you know what I mean? And this is so late in the game to be trying to do that now. You know how we always go in and I get creative and I just kind of like cut them. It never fails us. We always do it. My mom tell me to stay focused, be a winner, because at the end of the day, ain't no friends in this game. So I do whatever it takes to like get this contract. I'm team Super Peach. All day, every day. We're gonna yeah. kill them. Everything's peachy. You already know. Everything's peachy. Ah! I just buttoned it right. No, you did it. Sometimes I give you good advice, you know that? If you do exactly what I say, you'd be number one this week. My relationship with Little Poopy, man, I miss everything. He needs me to make sure that, you know, he's doing the right things, he's not being stared the wrong way. I'm telling you, you need to wear these sneakers. I don't have to. Like, Miss Mulatto wasn't gonna wear her shoe, her. So now because, Miss Mulatto does whatever she wants. That means Poopy gets to do whatever he wants. OK, now you're just speaking whatever you want. Because think about it, it doesn't make sense. That's your excuse. Because somebody's doing what they want, that means you get to do what you want. Sometimes I don't listen to Papa Loose because I think he's wrong. I mean, he needs to know. When I'm in my mode, I'm in my mode. Today, I'm putting these kids to the test. They're going to take their looks and do a photo shoot for what might be one day an album cover. What I'm looking for is not only what they wear, but how they wear it, and how well they take direction from my team. Hi, guys. Hey. 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 Miss Mulatto approached me, and I was like, whoa. All right, all right. Um, describe this outfit to me. Um, I feel like it's futuristic. I don't know. I don't want to go to that future. I, that future. No, it, it was off. Mulatto wowed everyone in the booth last week. Welcome to Atlanta, where the gangsta skate, and we kick it at Cascade right off of MLK. But I'm still not convinced she knows who she is as an artist yet. I want to see if her and her manager can listen to direction. Describe this outfit to me. Um, I feel like it's futuristic. I don't know. I don't want to go to that future. It's kind of a wicked witch of the West. Miss Mulatto, she's a pro. And there's so much she's already done. When it comes to fashion, Miss Mulatto's kind of got it. JD's going to look at these pictures. Uh -huh. These pictures should be used for an album cover. Mm -hmm. Like, every time it's something important, he might use this to, like, try and sell your deal or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So there it is. Let's see what you got. Perfect. Hold that one. Hey. Let me take you back real quick. Let me show these rap kids where it's at real quick. I like that. How old are you? 16. 16. Yeah. It does mm -hmm. feel grown, and mm -hmm. I want her to have room to grow. Yeah. And that has a lot to do with the lipstick. Mm -hmm. and I was like, wait, is this a kid? Everything together was so heavy and so mature. How would you describe this look? Um, like a southern eccentric. OK. Every day, you're going to have to have a look that people can relate to. So I was shopping, and I'm thinking we switch out a couple things. Are you down? Yeah. All right, let's, let's do it. it. I'm just trying to see how we can remix. I think we're good. Hey, so cute. I love that. What really kind of made me upset was when April added her couple pieces in the Mulatto's outfit. It's going to make it worse, I feel like. All right. Yeah, we're good. We're good. High five. <laughs> yeah. What you think? So. What's up, what's up? Hi, nice to what's see up? you. Hi, nice to see you too. 
Last week, Lil Poopy was at the bottom. Poop, you went to sleep on the trolley. You sure you want to be here? He's got an opportunity right now to redeem himself. He got to show me that he wants to be here. This overall look is a little bit bulky, mm -hmm. so it makes you look bigger than you are. You know, rappers today, everyone's wearing, like, slimmer lines. Like, we have Big Sean, we have Travis Scott. Even Snoop Dogg has slimmed his line down. I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. It's just so important for Little Poopy to figure out, like, what's fresh, because otherwise, no one's going to take him seriously. Let's see what you got in front of the camera. There it is. Nice, 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 nice. Think album packaging. You got this. Do what you want. What you feel? All right, one, two, three. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Great that job. Was awesome. Great job. Great job. Great job. High five. So you ready for this? Hi, guys. Hey, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. These first two weeks, Lil Nico's been sitting right in the middle of the pack. This week, I'm hoping he breaks out of that middle ground. So I got a question for you. How many of these pieces actually came from the Goodwill? Um, this shirt came from the Goodwill. I did get some pants, but the pants didn't even, like, come in my waist, like... I think they were girls, we, but they were in the men's section. We only had one and a half things on from the Goodwill, and the rest was already his, so that might be why it looked like he was already owning it, because he did own it. The assignment was to find the outfit from head to toe, so that might affect your placement on JD's hit list. I did that West Coast feel, but made it my own, so instead of, like, the typical plaid shirt, I had on a different long Long sleeve, and I just, I made it Nico. Nice. <laughs> Mama's running in doing last look. That's it. That's my job, Mama. <laughs> oh, I feel amazing. I'm like, this kid is killing it. I mean, we got this. Nico, fix your chain outside your shirt. You can take the shades off, too. For some of them, yeah. The shades are dope, but you can, like, but, OK. So, little Nico was great, but his mom was all up in it. Nikki, I can tell she's a momager. I've been doing this for 20 years, and so I think I kind of know what I'm talking about. Obviously, JD, trust me, and if you're not really paying attention, like, all right, like, let's see where that gets you. Boom! On top of the world! Nice job. Hey, hey. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You can give him a shake, really? Did that. That's how you feel? Good. Now, tell me, which pieces came from the Goodwill? Um, actually, only the pants came from the Goodwill. <laughs> mm -hmm. Last week, Lyric did pretty well in the booth, but normally she's kind of shy. I'm hoping that she can still break out of that shyness and wow me with her style and brand. All right, let's go. So this is going to be your area over here. OK. I got, like, a Houston type of style, kind of like a laid back style. Like, I really just throw on how I feel for the day. I'll do what I want for the most part. Exactly. I like that. Hey. And don't let her hide your eyes. We want to know who you are. She had a really boring look going, and everything was just shy, shy. So guess what? I saw this little red two-piece. Awesome. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I put her in something that I had picked up, and then I saw it. I was like, ooh, look at her. OK, who is this? Let's do this. Perfect. Young Lyric. She was, like, really an artist. Like, it gave me something that I could take back to JD and be like, this is who she is. Here they come. Uh, Hi, hello. guys. Hi. Hello. So, Super Peach, when I saw her, she looked crazy. So tell me what pieces you have on that you actually got from there? This from Goodwill, this from Goodwill, this from Goodwill. But, of course, I made it my own style. I cut it up. OK. My style is different because I don't want something that everybody else have. I want something that's outside the box. These pants are definitely giving me island. Thank you. Um, she was so confident about it, too. Like, she was like, this is it. And I was like, this is not. I'm not sure that you have convinced Jermaine that this is yes, you. I did. Yeah? <laughs> OK. <laughs>
that you have convinced Jermaine that this is yes. you. I did. Yeah? <laughs> OK. <laughs> so hold that right there. Let me see. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I'm on the sideline watching Super Peach. I'm talking about she's hitting every pose, like, on, uh. That's it? Sticking it. I speed it off when I hit the shoot. They like, who that? I ain't no time to lick and see, uh-uh. Super Peach, I don't know about her style, man. She's kind of not really defined in style. It's management flaw. I don't even know if, if her management is even trying to figure out who Super Peach is. So I was thinking that we could try on a couple things okay. that I found. <laughs> All right, let's do it. OK. OK, perfect. We're going to nail this. Oh, I love it. <laughs> this is so cute. How do you feel? Huh? Anything I put on, I feel good. Um, I was wondering, because you have this confidence, but it comes off as a little bit cocky sometimes. <laughs> And I don't want your fans to be like, ooh, she stank. Super Peach's confidence, like, really came off as cocky. And it was just, like, a little bit overwhelming. And I could see how JD would be like, yo, like, what's her deal? I definitely want you to think outside the box. We do. You have an answer for everything. We do. You do. We do. So every time I say something, you're like, yeah. We do. We do. We do. I love it. Let's, let's, let's awesome. see. Let's give it a go. Hold that. I want to sell records. So imagine it as the cover of your album, hey. you know? Nice. Hey. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. So I just wanted to ask you, because, um, you know, nice. we were in the store, and you guys were, like, at the register, and you had a whole bunch of stuff. And uh -huh. then I saw you kind of going in your purse. I'm like, mm -hmm. what's going on over there? And now, did you guys go over $30? Or, like, no. for the pieces that she had? Yeah, you just pick out. Just the $30? Yeah. OK, here's the question. How am I going to get Super Peach back to number one? Well, we got to do whatever it takes to get back at the top. Got it, got it. Oh, I like that action. Mama Peach can deflect all she wants, but I know that she went over budget. So I'm going to make sure that JD has all the facts before he decides who wins this week. All right, one, two, three. Six. Hey! Nice, nice. All right, let's five. look at the picture. Yes. Last week, I was in fourth place, but I think I came out with some good pictures. You know, I had my swag on, and I'm born a winner. I just got it. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later. So how was it yesterday? Um, it was a long day. This is my first chance to see what these kids would look like if they put out an album. I want to see if I can trust these artists and their managers to take direction from my team and stick with the plan. So now let's see these pictures, please. So first, we're going to go with Lil Poopy. You know what? He did a great job. Every single piece, except for his sneakers, is from the Goodwill. My problem was that it looked kind of 90s. Like, it looked like throwback rapper. Yeah, so I think we got to figure out his actual size. I don't know if he knows his size. These clothes make him look bigger than he probably is. Right. But you didn't do anything to this, basically. No, basically. So this is basically him. Yeah. Some of these pictures are not bad. Like, this picture's OK. Yeah. This is a cool picture that shows his freckles. So next, we have Young Lyric. She showed up like this. The only thing from the Goodwill are the pants. This is ridiculous. Young Lyric looked like she just rolled out of bed and went to the grocery store. How is this an album cover? This is terrible. It hurt my heart. It doesn't look like an artist. <laughs> so, I had her try this on. Mm. Literally, she Now, this she changes hit, the whole vibe. Right? She hit the corner, and it was like she was in a music video. And I was like, who is this? So here we have Lil Nico. This was very fresh, very clean. The only thing is, the shirt and the glasses are the only thing from Goodwill. OK, so he didn't yeah. didn't do the assignment. Yeah. OK, next is Miss Mulatto. I do see some personal style coming through, but it just felt, like, kind of heavy. It's very mature. She's dressed up like a Halloween witch. I don't even know. <laughs> OK, brace yourself, because you what are not that? ready. What's going on? This is Super Peach. Oh, my god, this is terrible. But I think like she a... looks like a Walking Dead rapper. Her mom is very hands-on. She really was, like, running the show. And in fact, like, when they were paying, it kind of looked like her mom might have been going in her purse to add to the $30. Damn, this is the second time that Super Peach has cheated during a challenge. I appreciate how bad they want this, but it makes me wonder if they would actually follow my guidance and take my advice if I signed her to So So Death. 
The hit list is gonna be very interesting this week because some of these kids will not be happy. It's, where's the hip hopness at? Yeah, I mean, I didn't know what was going on here. Oh, God. Hey, yo, yo, come on downstairs, yo. Yo! This is week three, and we almost halfway through this. The competition is getting serious. I challenged them to figure out their style, and I wanted to see how easy it was to work with them. But most of them failed to impress me. Y'all know how we do. But before I get into that list, I'm gonna let my stylist speak so she can give you her thoughts that'll help me decide on what my hit list looks like this week. JD and I had a chance to look over the photos. Okay, we're gonna start with Miss Mulatto. Overall, it kind of felt like you were trying to own that look. But you looked crazy. And I'm like, were you both at the same photo shoot or what? Like, I don't think you really nailed the brand. And so those pictures, they're not usable. He can't take that outfit and that picture and sell you as an artist. OK, so next, we're going to go with Little Poopy. And you did a great job following the assignment. Overall, your look came off as very old school hip hop. It was a challenging task, like trying to find your size in such limited time and all that. But good job. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Little Nico. You know, the assignment was a whole outfit. I got you. And not to make no excuses, because I'm not. But nah, this is an excuse me. coming. Right, yeah. Okay. Like the pants would not fit, like they wouldn't even come to my waist, you know what I'm saying? And I'm getting really nervous because he might get knocked down about not having a full fit. You know, you did the best that you could. Overall, you gave us a really clean look. So, Young Lyric. You only used one item from the Goodwill. When I gave you the look that I kind of picked out, you came to life because the little shy thing, that's not going to cut it. Yeah, I'm working on it. OK. <laughs> Super Peach. In the pictures, everybody just went and looked right at the pants. What the hell are these pants? <laughs> Dude, that's our culture. Are you serious? We love those pants. Oh, I even have a pair. It was a fail, and I'm so sorry, but it was not it. It was not OK. And then as soon as we were able to switch over into the other look, you came to a lot, and you was grimy with it, and you was giving us all this like great attitude, but we still working on it. You see what I'm saying? Is she rhyming in her head? Super Peach. What is going on? What are you doing? <laughs> she got a twitch. What's happening? Super Peach thinks she's cool, but I ain't with somebody insulting someone that's trying to help me help them. Attitude is good, but stupid swag is stupid swag. What you got? You working on some lyrics? Oh, yeah. OK. <laughs> I'm super annoyed with Super Peach because we're here to listen. Why are you here? You know what I mean? She's not ready to be at this point with the rest of these kids. You, you hear what I'm saying, though? Yeah. OK. What's the last thing I said? <laughs> Super Peach is ADHD, and she's thinking ahead, and that's why it's so hard for her to focus. So she was like in her head, like, OK, that's how I look at it, you know? Super Peach, you're over there, like, freestyling while we're talking right now. Like, what is that? I flew her in from LA just to come do this. So I'm here. But my time is very valuable. And for her to be standing here talking and you to be rapping, that ain't it, man. I ain't with that. That, we ain't, that ain't gonna fly. OK, so I got to get on this flight back to LA. Oh. Oh. All right, you guys, bye. bye. Have a safe flight. All right, so I had to take a lot of things into consideration this week. Let's just get straight to it. Number five on this week's hit list is... All right, so I sent you to Goodwill with my personal stylist to pick out an outfit for your photo shoot, and this is how you did. Let's just get straight to it. Number five on this week's hit list is... Super Peach. Super Peach, number five. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Like, you got to be. It's, this is a joke. It, it's a joke. Super Peach, yours was the worst out of everybody's as far as I'm concerned. The outfit was whack. You know what I mean? I told you to rock that cape all the time. 
And while she was talking, Super Peach, you was rapping. That's disrespectful. I don't play these games. So I'm saying, like, this is serious, like, flat out. I don't mean to curse, but I want to make sure that you guys understand how serious this is. I want you to learn from this. So Super Peach, what I saw tonight, please don't let me ever see that again. I was like, I can't believe this because I was just in my zone. Like, taking this serious is very important to me. Like, I got to stay focused, got to be on my A game. I don't want to be at the bottom. All right, so number four this week on my list is... Young Lyric. When you came to your shoot, your outfit wasn't whack, you know what I mean? It was just a little basic. But when you put on the jumper, you came into something else. Your stances changed, you start doing the Heisman and all this other stuff, so you gotta keep pushing yourself. This week, Lyric was, you know, definitely happy not to be last, but, you know, she's still number four. She still didn't want to be number four either. Number three on my hit list this week is... Lil Nico. Number three again? I mean, when we go to the rules of the actual challenge, I understand him being number three, but his style was on point. Like, Nico should have been number one. I like this picture. This picture gives off his youngness. You would have had the highest ranking, but I docked you, because you just came to this shoot with one piece. You should have came with your pants halfway down. Come back to me with exactly what I said, and if it don't work, then let me fix it, OK? I feel you. OK. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All right, number two on my hit list this week is... I got this, I'm number one. I like Miss Mulatto's outfit, so I'm kind of like worried, like what place am I gonna be in? My brain is gone. Like almost everything JD and April said was going in one ear and out the other. Please, Lord, please put me at number one. Miss Mulatto. I'm a little skeptical about what's really going on. Like, I'm like, are we all in the same house? Are we all doing the same challenges? Do we all see the same thing? So when I saw the photos that you took yesterday, you look like a witch to me. I did, I did suggest the purple oh, lipstick. Oh, just what you like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might have been a little over the top. I kind of get the whole Wicked Witch or whatever. I was thinking more like Willy Wonka. When it's time to get dressed, put your dad outside <laughs> on the street. <laughs> so when you and April started talking, I saw a collaboration at this point, and it started looking like it was a style. You came in with a little bit more style presence than everybody else. That's what's up. So of course, at the top of week three's hit list, Lil Poopy. <laughs> Lil Poopy. Yes, yes. I did put you at number one because took that outfit and made it your own. You're turning out to be like the one that really wants to be in the house. You go from last to number one. Can't get no better than that. Tomorrow we start a new week. I hope y'all really, really focus on what it is that I tell y'all to do. Y'all should want to impress me, because I'm trying to turn one of y'all into a star. Mm -hmm. JD is not playing. He wants to sign someone. I got to work hard. I'm dead serious about this. I really want to sign this also death. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. I was really disappointed in all the kids this week. They better step it up. This ain't no little kid game. This is the rap game. How you feel? Ooh. How you feel? I just won, yo. How you feel? <laughs> this week's assignment, I know I had to be there to help him, but I had nothing to do with the success that Poopy had this week. I told you to do this, you did that, and it worked. And it was like playing a scratch ticket for the first time and winning. I can't wait to call everybody. Don't Who are you going to call first? My dad? And tell him? Yeah. Do you think she would have picked out the same clothes? Yes, that because of that, it's Virgin Islands, you know, culture. And I bet you if you ask Peachy right now, she, she wouldn't have changed it. Whatever JD wants, we do it. If he wanted Peachy to play it safe, stay inside the box, dress like everybody else, that's what we'll do. This opportunity is so important, so it's definitely, I mean, we got to do whatever it takes to get back at the top. He's the boss, so I mean, I guess... But she's um, the talent. There's mixed emotions in the house about Mama Peach. Some people think that she's just closed off to listening or learning, even from JD. I think she's more of a stage mom than a manager. I think you should've been number one this week. Should've been number one. Okay, they said you look like a witch. Mm -hmm. But point of an artist, I feel like it's to, to stand, stand out. out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.
Peach going for five, I could have predicted that. Like, we're on swag this week. Mulatto's not used to being number two. She wants the world to see her as number one, because that's what she is. And I know next week, I don't care what the challenge is, we'll definitely mm -hmm. be at number, be number one. one. In our family, man, we're so competitive. For Mulatto, she's not feeling it, and I'm really not feeling it. All we can really do is set the bar high again for next week and try to go harder. From here on out, I think we'll be getting into real technical stuff and then you'll really see who will prevail. So, you know, y'all be ready. Next time on The Rap Game, this focus group is gonna tell me a whole lot. What do you guys think about Lil Poopy? <laughs> the song completely just sucks. If you wanna talk about it. I already tried. You gave me attitude as soon as you was going to the bathroom. I don't have nothing to say to you. I don't like her. I don't like Nikki. Yeah, let's go. Dancing, god dang it. Dancing is not Lil Nico's forte. Hit him, yeah. Nico! Hey, what the f This ain't no little kid game. This is the rap game.